So St. Augustine, Florida has a, a trolley ride that will take you all through down the downtown area of the old city. And we're going to ride on it. Yep. Hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth. Live simple, live, live free. free. Oops, <laughs> I was taking my hat off. It distracted me. And we are here in St. Augustine and we don't really know the city. We've never been here. So we figured, we drove around a little bit the other day, but we figured, figured that this trolley ride would give us a great way to sort of get an overview of the whole city. And besides and, being fun. Yeah, well, yeah. And if you just get on and ride all the way around, it's a tour of the city, it takes an hour and a half. But with these little stickers right here, yeah. we can get on and off. There's how many, like 20? 22 places. 22 different places where you can get off and tour things and, uh, and get back on again. So, So we decided to go to through the Potter's Wax Museum. Wax museums are always fun. So we got discount tickets by buying it through the trolley service instead of going right to the door. So let's see what we can find. This building is the oldest registered drugstore in America, 1886. And it is actually the building that the Potter's Wax Museum is now in. So this is the very first wax museum that has ever been in America. And um, about 90% of it is like from the original collection of this man, Mr. Potter, who started the museum. So. And he said they do all historical figures, not yeah. Hollywood and they sports. They do very little sports in Hollywood. Yeah. It's mainly historical yeah. figures. And um, he do you going to talk about how long yeah. that? This is all real human hair that's been put in one strand at a time. One hair at a time. One hair at a time. He said it takes anywhere from eight months to a year to get that like that. Well, to do the whole figure. To do the whole figure, yeah. And those are medical grade eyes, and any teeth we see are medical grade teeth. And that is Madame, that's, that's Madame Tussaud, who does Tussaud's ah. wax museums. She's like the grand dame. So everything is actual life size. So like I've got Angelina Jolie here as uh, Maleficent and I can see how big she really is. I tower over her. <laughs> and, and who we have back there? Yeah, that, the me. I don't tower over him. <laughs> That's Michael Jordan. <laughs> so as we came in, he said they don't do much Hollywood or sports figures and the first thing we see is Hollywood and sports figures. <laughs> <laughs> including the big one back there, Darth Vader. <laughs> Boy, well, the actor that did Darth Vader is a big guy. He, I mean, he's a, he was a big man. Woo. That'd be intimidating to have, you know, <gasps> coming down the aisle towards you. C-3PO. Do not try, no, there is, do not try. There is do or do not do, there is no try. Did I get that right? I don't sound Yoda-ish enough. That's the, uh, 
the paraphrase. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I wish you could do it just like Yoda. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people will let me know. <laughs> I'm going to um, try again. <clears throat> no try. There is do or do not. There is no try. Did I get that right? Something like that. Okay. <laughs> Thomas Edison. Henry Ford. Wilbur Wright. And Albert Einstein. It's so sad when George Washington Carver died. Ben Franklin. Jefferson Davis, uh, President of Confederate States of America. If you know your composers, this is Claude Debussy. So this is Ray Charles and Beethoven playing a duet. <laughs> So here we have a room full of classical composers, and then we have the king, Elvis, and Britney Spears. <laughs> now these are all actually life size, and it's amazing to me how much shorter we were just a hundred years ago. These are all the generals at the uh, the signing of the you know the end of the war of the uh, Civil War. General Grant, General Lee. Look at how short they all are. Every one of them. It's amazing. This is Ponce de Leon. He's very very famous around here. He was looking for the Fountain of Youth, and um, it's interesting to look at. They have cause of death, and he died from an arrow wound. The Creature from the Black Lagoon. I remember that from when I was a little kid. And Frankenstein's monster. Julius Caesar. Cleopatra. Mark Antony. Mark Anthony. It's actually Antony. There's Joan of Arc over there. And here we've got World War II. We've got Mussolini, Hitler, of course, Stalin, Tojo, George Patton, Douglas MacArthur, Bernard Montgomery, Roosevelt, Charles de Gaulle, and Winston Churchill. I just thought I'd sit down and rest here with my friend. So, this has been a very cool place. So this is the museum building behind us. It doesn't look like much from the outside. Like I said, it's the, uh, it's the old uh, pharmacy, yeah. the first pharmacy. But what did you think of the museum? I was actually surprisedly impressed. We've been to wax museums before. Yeah. This had so many really incredible historical characters and very, very real looking and very lifelike. I was pretty doggone impressed. So I've been to other wax museums and it's like you can tell who that figure is supposed to be, but it's just not quite right. And Elizabeth wanted to go to this one. I, I, eh, I don't know. I've been to museums, wax museums before, but she wanted to go, so I went. I was really impressed. You could really tell who they were and it was so cool because so many other ones are all you know public figures from nowadays this is almost entirely except for only a few exceptions almost entirely his figures from history starting in the 1500s and coming forward thoroughly enjoyable it's a small building and the figures are crammed in there everywhere <laughs> it's 
well worth yeah. the time and money. Well, and you, instead of just being off in a distance somewhere in a, in a uh, display, you can kind of get close to them and see how tall they were and, right. and kind of get up close. I wanted to say one thing. I was standing by Walt Disney and some little school kids came by. They're on a school uh, um, field trip. And these little kids came by and I said, you guys know that's Walt Disney? What? And they kind of looked at me and I said, I remember when he was alive, he used to be on his show every week when he put it on. And these little guys were like, whoa. <laughs> and this one teacher and I were talking and she said, yeah, one of the kids asked if she'd known Ponce de Leon. <laughs> oh goodness, I loved it. <laughs> Shopping for downtown St. Augustine. These are the original city gates for St. Augustine. And the St. Podio's Greek Orthodox Shrine. As well as just about anything else you might want to There's the fort right across the way. I'm pleased you may see it at one. D. San Marco, the 10th person of the fort built there. The first nine were made out of wood, so we're all burned to rest. After 99, he just made it out of about enough of that in order to just be built out of stone. And it is the oldest structure in the town. And just over on our right is the Colonial Experience, which is two acres of... I'm so excited to find this here in St. Augustine. I have wanted to see Michelangelo's David in Florence, Italy for so long. Well, this is one of only two copies of the David that's actually all the same proportions, same size, carved out of one piece 
of the, the marble, I'm pretty sure it is. And so it's a replica very accurately of the David. And so I'm thrilled to death to get to see that here. I have wanted to see it forever. The, the, it's beautiful and the veining on the hands and oh, what a beautiful piece of art. Oh my goodness, Michelangelo was only 26 when he did this. Ugh. Now, if you'd like to find the Michelangelo, uh, the David, it's on the property of Ripley's Believe It or Not. This is actually the first, very first original Ripley's Believe It or Not. You pull into the parking lot and you will see David. You can see his head sticking up there, hidden discreetly behind those hedgerows. So we got off the trolley at the at the Fountain of Youth. At the Fountain of Youth, and we were going. To, that was one of the things that we bought tickets for to actually tour. And right outside the Fountain of Youth, we were very hungry. It's sometime yeah. after noon. Uh, right at, outside the gate there, they had a barbecued pork place. So we got pulled pork. They had a whole a big menu, but anyway, we got lunches. <laughs> after this, we were going to go into the. It's called the Fountain of Youth Archaeological Park. What? I think we're going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, and as we're looking at it, we're realizing it's so <laughs> extensive, and we're already worn out. So I think the tickets, are, we've already bought the tickets, but yeah. they're good for tomorrow. So I think we will do that. And there's good parking here, so we tomorrow. can just drive here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so but, when we're fresh. And it's been cool. The trolley's just taken us everywhere so we can see what's going on around here. And so we thought, well, we just, look, we know there's parking here. We'll just come back and, and do this. Because um, we'll probably take the trolley then when we're all done eating back to um, the rest of the trolley. Okay. So we are back at our hotel now yes. after a thoroughly enjoyable day. Yeah, it really has been. Yeah. We uh, took the trolley tour basically just to give us kind of an overview of the city. And it did that. Oh yeah, it was, it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. It was, I think they said eight and a half miles. Yeah. And it, it was, uh, there were 23 stops along the way where you could get off if you wanted to and, and catch the next trolley that came by 15 minutes later. Uh, we didn't get off in many places. We just drove around and, you know, listened. But we the, got off in some. We got off several times. The, the, all of the uh, drivers, we're incredibly knowledgeable about the history of, yes. of, of uh, St. Augustine. And they were funny. <laughs> and as we drove around, they pointed to uh, practically every house we, we passed and gave some sort of a history about it or something. It was absolutely fascinating. Yeah, it really was. So I think that uh, there is so much to do in this town, it's mind-boggling. Yeah. But I would recommend that you start with the trolley because that gives you an overall picture of the whole thing. Yeah. And if there's only one thing that you can do in this town, that would be it. Yeah, because that just gives you the overview of everything. And besides, you get to see a lot of really cool places. Right. Yep. So I highly recommend it. We thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Now, tomorrow, we are hoping to go to the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Fountain of Youth. Fountain of Youth. The whole thing with Ponce de Leon, the Fountain of Youth. Yeah, it's not just some little thing. It's, it's, the it's ar big. It's the archaeological site of the entire mm -hmm. uh, or original colony here yeah i don't i don't mean that the fountain of youth is big but i mean the, the actual place to go to is pretty extensive There's yeah a, it's like you said, it's an archaeological uh place where it all really started right yeah so it was hilarious today we got back from everything and both sat down in the hotel room and proceeded to both fall asleep <laughs> we're tired <laughs> uh. but i think that tour of uh the Fountain of Youth is probably going to be in the next video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's going to take yeah. time. Yeah. So join us then for more yes. fun. <laughs> that's right. That's right. All right. So thanks for watching, everybody. Live simple. Live free. <laughs> you be blessed. Yeah, we love you guys. I'm so glad you enjoyed me this year. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to go back to sleep. All right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye-bye.